like to now introduce the Dean of the Division of Health and Human Services, Dr. Michael Grogan. Good morning. I have the pleasure to introduce the Vice President of Academic Affairs and Dean of the College. Dr. Ed Clausen begins his 10th year here at Damon as the Vice President and Dean of the College. Ed is, highly Ed is a highly accomplished academician, scholar, and administrator. He has and continues to serve as a catalyst for change, a lot of change, supercharger for initiatives, a lot of initiatives, and a percolator for ideas, more ideas, and even more ideas. Ed does indeed have a renaissance nature. Both eyes are directed toward the future, and both feet are on the accelerator. It's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Ed Clausen. I want to welcome everybody. It is a pleasure to see faculty have returned, staff, board of trustees, and particularly, of course, students. It's a pleasure to be here because I get to, to uh, suggest to students a couple of things that might be important for them while they're here for the next four to six years. Um, one of the things that marks this college is we, we say if you come here, there's a world of opportunity. And it, that's not just a catchphrase. It actually represents a commitment on the part of the college uh, to you and to your future. Uh, and we have great examples of this just with, uh, within our deans themselves. Uh, both deans come from uh, working class backgrounds. Uh, initially, when they were young, with somewhat provincial experiences. And they have, in their current iteration, uh, grown into world travelers, connoisseurs, bon vivants, and intellectuals and professional forces, both here and internationally. They've gone from beef on weck in South Buffalo and fish and chips near Liverpool to blistering dishes of southern China and Sichuan province in particular and complex uh, dishes of Singapore like chicken rice. I can assure you at least one of them never in his entire life expected to undergo these experiences. And yet, as exalted deans and superb faculty members, they've undergone these transformations as they continue to march through life. So imagine, just imagine for a moment, what kind of a future you have. What does it take to get where these two individuals are? Aside from money, right, uh, a healthy uh, appetite, both of them have that, and the ability not to ask when you're traveling, what is this I'm eating? <laughs> it takes several other things. First, it takes eight skills and competencies. Now, I'm not going to belabor the point. You will learn those almost ad nauseum as you move your way through, particularly the next four years, and particularly through our core curriculum. But it also takes a phenomenal curiosity. And Damon College, I think, will nurture that if you already have it. If, it don't, if you do not, it will cultivate it in you. Curiosity is one of the greatest virtues, and one of the uh, greatest spurs to intellectual quest, interchange, and thought that one can have. Second, you've got to have breadth in thinking. And this has to be combined with the focus and discipline given you by a major. Next, you have to have a global perspective. After that, you have to be able to think through evidence. Evidence-based research and thinking is critical if you're going to be successful in this world. You have to be willing to embrace change, simply a fact of life and hold it with disdain, or to try and hold it at arm's length is to court danger and perhaps even disaster. Now, Damon will give you all of these if you give it half a chance. Here's what I suggest. First, you have to be proactive. Don't wait for things to come to you. Look for them. Search them out. Go to the Global Programs Office that offers you a panoply of opportunities to study literally anywhere in the world. There are actually 70 sites around the world that are open to you in which you can study. Some of the most interesting are possibilities in China, possibilities in Mexico, and Canada, by the way, which we have a $5,000 fellowship if you 
to go study in those countries under our uh, new program. We have opportunities in Ireland, Germany, Finland, uh, Cuba, uh, Italy, and other European countries. And we're now exploring the possibilities in Tanzania, Africa. I really encourage you to do this. This is the one time in your life that you're going to have the opportunity to spend at least uh, a summer and or a four year if you choose overseas. It's a fantastic experience and a transformative one. We have a think tank. It's got a long name to it. I won't bother you with it. We just call it a think tank. Talk to your faculty members about it. It gives you the opportunity uh, to really engage in serious research. If uh, the Global Programs Office helps you with a global perspective and curiosity. The think tank will help you understand how to do research, all eight of the competencies, and what I'm talking about when I say evidence-based thinking. The core is what will give you the breadth. The Center for Sustainable Communities uh, will provide you with the opportunity to enrich in your life skills through service to the community, both here and globally. Go to the co-op, and I can't stress this enough, go to the co-op and career development office now, whether you're a junior, whether you're a first year student. Competition for jobs and good jobs are tough now, and it's not gonna get any easier in the future. The economy is plagued today. If you think it's gonna be easy five years from now, you're wrong, it's gonna be very difficult. So take the skills that you're gonna gain here. Go to that office and start planning uh, uh, what you might want to do in the future as soon as possible. Tie everything you learn to practice, and you'll lead a rich, I think, a rewarding life. Partake in the academic festival. Again, I won't go through that. You'll learn lots about that. Uh, I really urge you though, to participate in that. And lastly, as the president suggested, and I suspect most of you already have, because I get there in the morning and take a look, spend time in the research and information comments. It's a genuine building set up for learning. There's nothing like it in Western New York, and it may be nothing quite like it actually in the United States. Thank you very much.